Senator Little, by the way, is retiring at the end of the year after 25 years in the New York State Legislature, and she has a new position already lined up. She has been appointed to the Olympic Regional Development Authority's Board of Directors. The newly appointed chairperson, Kelly Cummings, Senator Little, and three others joined the board last month. Cummings is the Director of State Operations and Infrastructure in the Governor's Cabinet and will oversee major renovations going on at the Olympic Ice Rink, Whiteface Mountain, and Mount Van Hovenberg Sports Complex. With order, there's uh, just a huge, massive building and capital construction projects going on uh, at every single venue. Um, and we're not just, it's not just a facelift. We're really rebuilding the Orta venues. Um, a brand new um, base lodge at Van Hovenberg. It's huge, it's massive. It'll be a home for biathlon, for the sliding sports, for Nordic. Uh, skiing and also for um, those hiking. If you're going to uh, Cascader Porter, it'll be a great place um, to start off, park um, with restrooms, etc. We're expanding the 1980 rink to make it an NHL size, um, and that will allow us to um, uh, attract more, um, you know, teams here, more competitions. Before COVID, Orta was having a great year, uh, amazing weather year for skiing. Um, shattered some records going into March. Obviously, everything had to shut down in March. A lot of the construction did continue. It was considered essential, so our construction projects are on schedule. So, you know, we'll be looking at um, uh, ways to increase revenue um, and to get our numbers back up. There's a lots of reasons for making sure that we keep all of the venues up to speed so that we can host the World Olympics or World Cup uh, competitions that come here. That gives us TV time. Anytime anybody watches one of these, uh, Lake Placid is mentioned all the time. And anytime there's an Olympics, Lake Placid is always mentioned over all of the winter sports things. Little, during her years in the legislature, has advocated for hundreds of millions of dollars in state funding to revitalize the state's winter sports venues, including those in Lake Placid. Like many other businesses, though, Orders venues in the Adirondacks saw a significant loss in revenue this past year, even as the multi-million dollar construction projects moved ahead.